I'm here with Dr. Romano and Professor Blois to do fun with cubes. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products, as well as the author of the That Destroyer book. I am here with the highly esteemed Professor Blois, who is our in-house math professor, and he's going to go over some problems, fun with cubes, we call it. Yes. All right, Professor. Oh, thanks very much. Fun with cubes. Let's begin the fun here with a simple problem. If the volume of, cu of a cube is one centimeter cubed, what is its surface area? Well, the volume of a cube is simply the one side cubed. Okay, so there we go. And we know this one side is cubed is equal to one centimeter cubed. So we know the side is equal to one centimeter, very simple. Now, what is the surface area? Well, the surface area of a cube, well, we have, well, how, many surf, how many sides are there to a cube? We have six sides. If you know from a, a pair of dice or a single die, there are six sides. Each side is S squared. So the answer to this is a six times one squared or six centimeters squared. All right, start off with an easy one. Now let's go to the next one. Given two cubes with side lengths 12 and 3. Part A, what's the ratio of the total areas of the larger to the smaller cube? Well, okay, let S equal the side of the larger cube, that's going to be equal to 12. And let S equal the side of the smaller cube, that's going to be equal to 3. What's the ratio of the total areas? Well, the area of the larger cube is going to be 6S squared. The area of the smaller cube is going to be 6 small s squared. Well, we know that the large s is 12, so this is going to be 6. The 6s six cancel out. We don't need to worry about that. It's going to be the ratio of the two sides squared. Okay, and we can reduce them first before we square them to make the, the mathematics easier. So this is going to be 12 is the length of the larger cube, and 3 is the side length of the smaller cube. 12 over 3 is 4. 4 squared is 16. So that's the ratio of the areas of the larger to the smaller cube. Okay, part B. What is the ratio of their volumes? Okay, so we want the volume of the larger cube uh, over the volume of the smaller cube. So the volume is going to be S cubed and uh, over S cubed. So it's going to be 12 cubed over 3 cubed. Now, instead of cubing 12 and cubing 3, what we're going to do is switch the order of operations, which is allowable here, and it's 12 over 3 squared, uh, to the third power, that is. 12 over 3 is 4 to the third power, and that's 16 times 4, that's 64. So the ratio of their volumes is 64. All right, third. This is not quite a cube, but a, uh, a, a, a parallel, parallel piped. Find the volume of a rectangular box who, whose base is 4 feet by 10 feet and whose diagonal from one far corner to the other is the square root of 152. Now, this is the key to the problem, the square root of 152. Here's a little sketch of this rectangular box and the distance between A and B, the two far corners, we're going to use an extension of the Pythagorean theorem. We're used to using the Pythagorean theorem in two dimensions. Here it is in three dimensions. What's the distance AB? AB squared is equal to x squared plus y squared plus z squared, where x, 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 y, and z are the length, width, and height of the rectangular box. Okay, so uh, square root of uh, AB squared, well, this is the square root of 152 squared equals X squared. Well, let's see, the rectangular box will say X is equal to 4 and Y is equal to 10. So this is equal to 4 squared plus 10 squared plus Z squared. And now we're going to solve for Z. We're going to solve for the remaining height. So the uh, square root of 152 squared is 152. 4 squared is 16, uh, 10 squared is 100, plus z squared. So what do we have here? 116 plus z squared is 152, and therefore z squared is equal to, do that subtraction, it's going to be 5, 4, 30, uh, let's see, that's going to be uh, five, uh, 6, uh, 36, 36. So therefore, z is equal to 6. Well, that's all we need. The volume of this rectangular box is going to be length 
times width times height, which is x times y times z, which is then going to be equal to 4 times 10 times 6. So that's 40 times 6, that's 240. And what are the units? Uh, feet. So it's feet cubed. And there's our answer. And there's the extension of the Pythagorean theorem to three dimensions in use. Speaking of cubes, do you have any idea what this molecule would be called? You're going to love this. That's a, a cube. That's a salt molecule. No, silly. Well, that's called cubane. Oh. Cubane. Oh, yeah. And if I went like this, isothiocyanato cubane. Oh, boy. That's I'll, a hard one. I'll have a drink of that, please. All right. <laughs> At any rate, I hope you enjoyed this little mini lecture on Fun with Cubes with me and Professor Blois. Good day to you. Bye-bye.